thanks for joining us live here at NSI. I'm going to be demonstrating the DIP system, the Simplicite system today. I'm going to be showing you how lots of different looks can be created with the Simplicite and how it crosses through the range through the attraction, using the liquids, using the dipping and uh, how you can use all these fantastic colours that we've got in all the systems. I'm going to be doing a baby bimmer on this one, on our pinky. I'll be doing the dipping colours uh, colour fade on this one because this in this morning, if you was with us this morning, pass me the hand one, we did a sculpting uh, with a smile line this morning. If you want to see that, then have a look at the previous uh, morning's block there. And we're gonna do a colour fade this one. Uh, what did you do on? That one, French. No, we'll come back to that one. All over dipping, that was right. That was right. All over dipping in one colour. This one, we're gonna do a French, and on this one, we're going to on the thumb here we're going to show you some marbling. So lots of different things all using the Simplicite colours. So I think let's get started. Okay. Okay first of all I'm going to spray the hands with Purify. If you've got any questions while I'm working just uh, you know give us a shout and we can answer your questions. Hopefully this is going to give you lots of different ideas and showing you what you can do with our Simplicite Polydip system. It's a different system to many because we're actually coming into the light area. It's been formulated to work with um, the dipping powders that we've got. We've got three hardcore powders within the system. We have the opaque pink, we have the pink silk, and we have the clear. Now the beauty of the system that we've got is that you can dip with any of our other powders. All our products interlink with each other. But remember, these are the ones that are dipping best for the best clarity with the poly base. Okay. So if you do dip with other powders um, and you don't get the clarity, that's because these are the best ones to dip, but they will work with other powders as well. And that's because of the fineness of the polymers that have actually been chosen for that. So we sprayed the nail, we've given it a good a good clean over. Sahira says hi. Hi Sahira. Hi dear. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Green is for go. So we'll we uh, it's the first baby boon we've done and we're going to be using different products for that. We're going to be using the Dipping White and we're going to be using, from the Secrets range, we're going to be using the Secrets Disguise. So it shows you how you can interact all our products together. That's the beauty of NSI is that all our products interact with each other and that's the basic chemistry of it. It's just fantastic. It makes me as a technician my life easier because we are a technician driven company and we want to make our life easier. So the second start with a bond, this is what's going to adhere it to the natural nail. It's a bond all over the nail. We've had some fun today with the nails that we've done. We have. Been looking at lots of different things because it's salon art. This is things that are very quick in the salon, what your clients want, that's not going to take you any time. The magic ingredient. This Simplicite Poly Base is the magic ingredient. Now you're going to put one coat on the on the natural nail or over the tip, and it's going to be cured, and that's the basis of everything. So when you start dipping, it's going to be dipping into the tacky residue that's already there, and the powder won't stick directly to the natural nail, so that won't give you any adhesion. If you notice the brush in here, it's a nice short stubby brush. That's because we're going to stretch the product. Just because it's a ligma base, we don't want to treat it like a gel. We don't want to float it, we don't want to build with it because it's the powder and the poly base together which is going to give you that strength as it laminates through it each other. So we're just going to put that into cure for like 30 seconds. Now all the powders that come in the Simplicite are very fine. So we've got these beautiful colours, we've got the new big jars. You see these Simplicite jars here. These are a 40 gram jar. Okay. Got these and the powders here I just want to show you how fine they are and that's because they need to absorb into that poly base okay just move that over a bit for you Ooh. actually I won't do it for let me show you how you probably one of these I use these all the time for like these are really good things you know let me just show you how just how fine that powder is and the reason for that is so we can get more pigmentation in these colours so you can use these with acrylic powder as well and if you use them with acrylic powder, um, they will make it a lot slower setting because the powder is so fine. But you can use it with attraction, you can use it with the primeless 
liquid as well, and with universal any of our, any of our monomers. Okay, so the first part of our baby boomer is we're going to use the white. Now I put my white into our beautiful blingy jars. These are so nice. I, they are lovely. I'm just going to give that a nice bite. Uh, just put <laughs> fingerprints all over it. Okay, I have these on my tabletop, and for my clear, I have a clear diamante on here, and for my sheer pink, I have a pale pink one, and my opaque have a bright pink one, so I know which jar it is. And they are beautiful. Now these aren't designed for monomer. So don't put your liquid in here because inside of here there's plastic and monomer will melt it. These are for powders only. Okay, so that's our white powder. And then I'm going to use the beautiful, I just love this, and this is Disguise. And it's the opaque pink and it's got a shimmer in it. Now this is from the Secrets range to show you that you can interact ours. You can't just quite see the shimmer, can you there? Oh, I don't know if you can bring it up to that. Mm -hmm. Will that focus, Nicola? There you, you go. Just see the shimmer. You in see there. the shimmer in that. It's now beautiful. remember, if you pick this up with the liquid, which is from the from the secrets range, it's going to give you a slightly different look than when you're going to dip it, because where it's a ligma base, the glitter, which is a finer consistency to the powder, the powder is going to melt into the, um, the poly base, and the glitter is going to rise to the top. So it's going to be slightly more glittery than if you do it with a liquid, but it's still fun. So we're going to do our baby boom with those. Okay, we'll put it on this side as well as I can come in here. So the first of the trick is, is don't rush it. Okay, When you're doing ombres, whether you're doing it as a baby boomer or whether you're doing it with your colour powders, just tap it gently down the nail so it can jump gently and not take it too far. If you take your colour too low, it can make the nail look stumpy. Okay, So what we're going to do is we're going to dip it in okay, and then we're going to tap it. So it, can you see how the powder is going to start jumping? down the neck, just tap it, tap it, tap it, so it works itself down. Now this is a structure powder, so it's going to have a slightly um, heavier feel than the other one, so you can see how it's not a definite line. And then, I'm not going to cure it, I'm going to go straight in to the disguise powder. Okay. So pretty. Now don't worry about the powder on the top because that powder on the top you don't need. Okay, it will only absorb what it wants to absorb. The rest of it sits on the top. But don't brush it off now. If you brush it off now, then you're going to mark and dent your your self-leveling poly base that's underneath. So we're just going to put that into cure. Now on the next one, the thing with boomer, if I go over again with the white and then I go with the pink, what you'll find is is that um, it's going to be too too pinky. Okay. So what we're going to do to keep the white as white as we want, we're going to change this powder and we're going to change it for the clear. So it keeps the end of it white, but not too white because the boomer is quite a soft look, isn't it? Mm. And then we're going to dip the bottom in in the pink. And you can do this with a with what you want as the um, as a sparkle, or you could do it with the opaque if you want to keep it flat. But I like a bit of sparkle. It's really nice. Oh, I do like a bit of sparkle. So I'm just going to brush this off. You see how it just takes that excess off for you. Okay. And then I'm going to put my poly base back on. This will show up the sparkle now. It will be a sharp sparkle. So remember, be very neat with your application because it will only absorb and keep your edges neat where you put it. So I'm just stroking that through with the poly base. And then what I'm going to do is do the clear. Only two thirds here, so it keeps the end very, very bright. So where the join through here, I want that to be covered in pink, so it makes more of a fade. So in with the clear, just that top bit, you can see that, and then I'm going to go in with the pink. Okay. And I've not gone quite to the cuticle, so I don't want it too heavy. You can see then how the pink's going to raise into the into the white, and that'll give you a slightly softer. Baby Boomer. So pop that in there for me. 
Now that's quite a long now, so what I might have to do is encapsulate in the clear, but we'll have a look when it comes out from the side. Or I might have to do what we call a strap. If you turn the nails to the side, if you get like a little dip on the side here, if you just put a band of poly base through here and then dip it, it will give you more of an apex where you need it, just through here, if you don't want to dip the whole lot. Don't keep dipping if you don't need to. You can use a poly base as your self-leveling if you want. Yeah, you can use the poly base on its own if you need to, can't you? On its own, oh, over the top of the system. The top of the yeah. system. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to brush that off there. Hi Luba, welcome back. Hi Luba. Just doing a an ombre baby boomer there. So I'm just going to turn to the side, let's look at apex, that's fine actually. And when you feel it, it's not dipping at all. So I'm just going to seal with the poly base because I want just, just in that centre to have a slightly higher look. We've used the dipping white and the disguise. Remember on that second application, two thirds of the white here was a clear. And then can you see that? Can you see that faint sparkle I can? It just yeah, goes into that white, slightly. and that just softens it down a little bit. So just pop that in there for me, and then that's ready to file. Remember, the beauty of the polydip system is that it's very quick, very easy, and it's it's just time for you. It's no stress. Sometimes when you've got that uh, acrylic, you have to rely on your liquid and powder. I'm just going to get some cleanse ready. Um, it is stress free, isn't it? Though? Stress free, nice and quick. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe the cleanse. So when it comes out it's going to have a tacky residue and you have to take that off before you file. Now the beauty of the polydip system is that because it is so neat, okay, because it is so neat here and it's not very thick, if you look from the side there that's not thick at all. No. So it doesn't take a lot of filing so it speeds you up in the salon. It's really good for learners to get their confidence up I feel. So a file, I don't want you to file over uh, the polydip system with more than a 180. Okay. More than a 180 or your combo file, which is there you go, your combo file. So I'm just going to get the side walls in first. And you've got, remember, a bit of clear over this section here, so you're not going to go through your white, so don't panic. So I'm just going to bring that in. And we call this refined filing. The reason being is because you don't have to file so much as you do with an acrylic now. And if you notice how the dust is less also than if it's an acrylic system. It's a lot less, isn't it? Yeah. And all our products are now fortified with vitamins, so it's nice and healthy. And we found when we did the studies that when we soaked this off, which is really quick, um, is that the nails were nice and healthy underneath. And I think that's just because of that laminating. It doesn't have to sort of knit itself into the nail. It just sits. That's really pretty. So that's so nice. I know. Can't wait for top coats. Mm -hmm. I'm just folding that quite gently. Yeah. And the, the boomer really is a, a form of colour fade. So it's just, you can do the same sort of effects by, you know, just changing in different colours to give that colour fade effect. Okay, so I'm just going to clean that off. Put your seal on. And then you've got just your boom and you think how quick that is. The funny thing when I do these demos, um, especially with the, the poly dip, even on the stand, because we're at the show next week, yes, aren't we? we are. in Manchester, so come and have a look and give a chat to us then and we can show you lots of different things. Is that when you do a demo, <laughs> sometimes it's so quick and people go, is that it? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> can you do it again, please? Yeah. It was too quick. It was too quick. <laughs> I couldn't take it all in. So I'm just going to use the seal now, just to, as our top coat. Just to remind everyone as well, we are on VAT free all week. Uh, you've only got to spend up to £25 net, so it's a great opportunity to try out new products without the dreaded VAT. Look at that. That's so nice. It's so nice. And look how easy that was. Hopefully for you guys out there, it'll give you a, a chance to have a go at that baby boomer. Not struggle with it, but the trick is to tap that white down. So dip it in, not too far, and just tap the finger like this, so it jumps down the nail and starts to blend itself in. Good tip that. Yeah. To do that. It works with pink. These two work really well together. The cloak and dagger, the daydream. That's really nice. Yeah, they go um, well. This one that nears baby blue. That looks really nice. And that looks lovely, believe it or not, with this. You wouldn't think so, would you? But yeah. when you've done it before, it did. It's look quite blue. funky. To hear us saying thank you. Great guidance there. You're welcome to hear her. Glad yeah. you enjoyed that. 
Okay, out you come. Let's give it a, a wipe. A little trick as well, if that, any of you've got the um, mirroring products or anything like that, with the seal, if you give it a wipe like this, really rub it with a dry wipe, with no cleanse on it, you can go on with your mirror as well. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. and then go with your seal. Yeah. Don't have cleanse on it because it won't work. If you yeah. just rub it dry, and um, I learned that actually from uh, folk when I was over in, in America, and I said, you know, does it, it not does come it, up? Yeah, and he said, oh, you can, you can really rub it, and it's like, it's like polishing. Imagine getting like a mirror. And just like you really give it a good old yeah and it comes up shiny by itself which is really quite clever That's so nice i'm just going to put some oil on that it's like that cuticles but look how fine that is and it's not thick at all no. and i think the gel polish has really made people want nails more and more natural slender okay. you can see you've got a nice sort of soft apex going through there it's a great shape that i'm just going to Use my pointer as one of my new beautiful brushes that are coming in. Oh, I'm nice. just going to swipe that through. That's gorgeous. Ah, yes. So on this beautiful brush, in this beautiful nail, it's nice curvature through there. <laughs> <laughs> this is our new That's gel brush. It's really nice. beautiful coming in. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Keep an eye on these. This is coming in soon. So keep an eye on the website when that's coming in. So just tease you. Later on, I'll be showing you the art ones. This is just teaser number one. <laughs> Kirsty Jackson, hi. Kirsty's saying she loves these. Would people use these instead of acrylics? That is going to be the question that everybody's going to be asking, isn't it? But the, the dip system was actually developed for people that are really good at doing gel polish that needs to move into the, the next section of their career, really, that find picking up a gel brush quite scary. So I say you've got your gel polish, then you've got your dip system, then you've got your uh, removable gel, then you come into your acrylics and then you come into your um, hard gels. And will it overtake it? I think it depends on the technician, it depends on your skill level. You naturally progress through your life and want to do new things. The beauty of this is it's odourless. So I think if you're in a spa, um, if you want to upsell your your gel, gel polish by putting a strengthener underneath this is the perfect product for you you'll get your hard acrylic people hard gel people that will never change it will always be there forever it won't replace acrylic or gels it's just a gap that's filled in from that massive gap from gel polish whoa before you get to acrylics if you're a new tech or you're a salon owner this is a perfect system to get your girls ready and confident doing nails um, straight away because it's just so easy I know myself as a salon owner, you know, when you take someone on, even if they're just straight from college, there is that learning curve before they get totally commercially viable. With this, I can get them on straight away from day one, and they're earning money for us. And for themselves. <laughs> and they for can. some nail technicians who use acrylic day in, day out, they've no need to change. They're happy with what they've yeah. got. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not to take over, is it, at all, really? It's just different it's techniques, di yeah. different methods. Something different to offer. Yeah, exactly. So on this one, I want to show you while we're still doing this dipping, because we've seen the method of that. I'm going to be doing a French tip on here. If I can just show you along here. We did one earlier today in the Cabernet. Now to get a small line in this in acrylics, you need a high skill level tech. So what we're saying about getting the, the girls in the salon to do higher end achieving stuff quite quickly, this is ideal. To get a small line like this and as thin as that, as that product, on an acrylic or gel is a high level tech and I'm going to show you how easy it is but the method changes slightly so if none of you have seen this before you might want to grab a pen and paper just take some notes because the method changes a little bit okay so Karen I'm going to give you a hot pink one this oh, time. I can't we, wait. we did Cabernet this morning so we're going to be doing string bikini okay the beauty of our powders on these ones in the 40 gram jars and we've got obviously the small ones that come in the, the starter kits that you've got Okay. is that um, you can use these with acrylic and gels, it's acrylic and gels, acrylic and poly, poly base as a dipping powder. So it's a multi-purpose powder, which is why, you know, they come in, in like that. The jars, the size they are and the width they are is because if you have a narrow jar, you haven't got space to slide your finger in. You haven't got space to slide the finger in. So we needed the width of the jar to be able to slide that in nicely. So. But obviously, if you're like me, I just pour them in my bling jar. 
and obviously these can come out as well and you can change those. I won't do that because I've powered it absolutely everywhere. <laughs> as I can see what my creativity at work, I'm a mess in all I've when it comes to powder. So let's get our powder here. The first thing you need to do, if I just move it out as well, thank you. The first thing you need to do is turn it up, it upside down, give it a tap. The reason why you give it a tap because it loosens all the powder in there because where these have been sitting on the shelf or in the drawer it's all compacted down on each other and what you need it to do is loosen up so it it will move up the nail okay that's pink <laughs> <laughs> is that a bit bright for you dearie <laughs> that is so it. funny okay so what we're going to do is create our own french tip so we've got the tip here and this is from the Dura Tips, which is the Ultra Deep Smile Tips. Okay, you need something with a really strong smile line there. And these are nice and deep, so they've got a nice deep C curve as well. And the beauty of it, you can imagine how many colours we have in the dip system, which is over 84, 85 colours. And we add colours to them every oh, season. So it's ever growing, isn't it? It's ever growing. Every season we're adding new colours in. So I can create any colour like You can even create a white as well, so it's not just colour. If you like to use the white tips, which are getting hard and to get hold of now, yeah. Isn't it? But we're also adding to the system a soft white into the attraction. Oh, that would be fantastic! Which is fantastic. So you could have like a strong white tip by using um, the dipping powder from the Simplicite, or you can dip it in the whiter powders that you have uh, from the Secret range. You could dip it in that to make a bright white. Or my client had the other day wanted a soft white, so in the new soft white that. Obviously, I have a cycle of working on the lab. I'm like so sorry do. about that. You will get yours very soon. Um, let's look out for that. We've got lots of new products coming up, so keep an eye on our website. We have that one as well, don't we? The uh, French brush on. We have the French brush on that comes with the system, so you could dip in your opaque and brush on the white as well, which a lot of people prefer to do. It's quite a fashion thing because you can file it off so quickly. Because remember, with our system, you can maintain it. So I've just brushed on there, poly base. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to dip it just gently, and I'm just going to put it towards me. Make sure I go high enough to get a decent bit of length in there. I'm just going to tap that off. And I can see that it's going to absorb. Okay, the shoulders on there. If you don't want to dip it in the powder, what you can do, I use these quite a lot. These are great. I use these like little spoons. So if you wanted to, you could just do it this way as well. You will get more density of colour if you dip in because it's pushing the pigment right into the nail. Now if you can imagine with all the different colours, if you wanted to, you could do the first dip in that and I could just dip there into a glitter and I could make my own glitter on there. Oh, that was so nice. <laughs> just thinking Christmas. Just thinking, yeah. Oh, you can put Halloween, you could put like, do a black, imagine dipping a black. And black and gold. Yeah, oh. beautiful. So nice. Right, I'm going to put that in the lamp just to cure. You can keep okay. on that for me. So let's have a look at Karen's finger, what we're going to put it on there. So it's all prepped up, we actually just sprayed it earlier, so I'm just going to check, give it a little bit of a Okay. I'm going to use the poly bond to stick the nail on with it, and I'm just going to stick it onto the smile line. And when that light goes out, there you go, just keep oh. past that for me. <laughs> You're gonna be, that is so luminous onto that, this is so, so bright. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put it on that free edge just there. Okay, to create in my own perfect smile line. line. Perfect smile line. I'm going to hold it for about 10 seconds. Let's pop that on. Okay, I'm just going to hold it. You can see that perfect smile line there. To do that in a quick now, what you can do with this, you could actually make all your colour tips with the poly base dipping in, and I could now, if I wanted to, go over with the traction. Yeah, of course. You can mix it like that because you could create any colour, which I think is just so like, that clever. You could even pre size up your clients um, and do it before they come in. You know, when I, I just did it when I was playing around, and I yeah. just thought, oh my god, that's just so easy. Yeah, that's because you know, doing my own nails before a show or anything like that to get the perfect smile line would take me quite a lot of time so i'd like to do that and get the perfect smile line yeah that's brilliant some people say it's cheating but hey no speed <laughs> it's, it's quick as well for your client yeah if it makes my life easier 
So we're going to do prep first, green for go, and we're just going to do that on the natural now. Okay. Then I'm going to do bond, just on the natural now. And this is going to help adhesion for that longevity, for that long word for sticking. Longevity. <laughs> and these will last such a long time as well, those yeah. pots are not a thick consistency, is it? Okay, so cut to length. Now this is where the method changes. I'm only going to put that first coat of poly base up to this tip here because what we're doing is raising this section here so it's parallel with here. And while I'm doing my pointing, I'm just going to show you my second brush as it comes through. Oh, should I just put that? This is my oh, second so new nice. brush. Look at that. Okay, this is one of the acrylic oh, it's brushes. Gorgeous, isn't it? So that's just preview number two. <laughs> Vicky says hi. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Okay, so what we're going to do here is do our first coat. And this is, you need this for the adhesion for all the other layers that are going over. I'm only going to do it on the natural now. And the reason for that is because I don't want anything going over my smile line just yet. So if you just put that in there for 30 seconds for me. Now that tacky residue, you can't do that and dip straight away. If you do that, you're going to have the, the round beads of the polymer sticking on top of the natural nail like this. Oops, there you go, like that. The base here of my natural, you need it to stick into the tacky residue. And that is actually then going to give you a much clearer base and also the adhesion. Because if the polymers stick directly onto the natural nail, there's nothing holding it on there. So when that comes out, we're going to dip in opaque pink because when I do French I like to work with opaque now this opaque pink in dipping will give you a, uh, a slightly lighter warmer pinker texture than if you use it with acrylic and that's a chemistry thing that's because the oligomers from the poly base is going to give you a different consistency the way it picks up and melts the, the powder into the ligma to what the acrylic does it's just a chemistry thing this is going to make you feel old now, Denise. Because oh just said that Denise taught me nails twenty plus years ago <laughs> and still going, <laughs> and I'm only twenty five. <laughs> oh dear! Glad you're still doing it, Vicky. Glad you're still doing it. I must have taught you well. Yeah. That's what I say. Okay. So what I'm doing now is just coming up, just literally to. If you want to turn the brush around for ease, you might as well to do that. Because remember, this will just ooze itself into that free edge there. Karen's put her glasses on. That means she's having a good look to how to do it. Really You're going to be doing good. this now, aren't you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I've just put that second coat on, dipping the opaque powder, which has become my new favourite. Exactly. Now, I remember I already dipped this upside down, this powder. Okay. Remember, if you don't want to dip, what you can do is you can get your... And if you wanted to see that's absorbed, you can just keep adding until it doesn't absorb anymore. Tapping it out. So don't worry about this powder on the top because that doesn't. That's not going to go anywhere. If it's left on the top, it means it's, it's absorbed as much as what it wants to. But don't brush it off now because you'll make marks in it. So just pop that in the lamp for me. Vicky says the um, the inn on the lake. Is that oh my god? <laughs> that was probably one of my first classes, Vicky. Oh dear. <laughs> That blast from the past. Yes, that is. This thing on the lake is still there. <laughs> okay, so we're going to turn this upside down. And remember, I said about tapping it so the powder falls in and it puts air into the powder. And that was with NSR. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. I've been with NSR. I was trying to work it out with Fred. I think I've actually been uh, with NSR since I was mm, it's been at least 22 years. You mean that, Denise? That's a long time. Yeah, I know. Right, here we go. Dust that off. Okay, now we're going to do the second coat, but the difference is we're going to dip in the clear. Okay, tap the pot upside down, put that air into the into the powder so you get a clearer, better dip. Okay. I think I have put the, one of those in these pots, but I've got so many pots on the table You're not now. Quite sure I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to do it from the main dipping pot. It's a slightly deeper pot, and that's why these ones, like, if you can see the difference in the opening of the whole of these two. Oh, so yeah. that's why I like these, because I can get more of a slant on your finger than this size pot. So guys, go to these nice new ones. Look, 
Okay, it looks very pretty. Just nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <laughs> this is luminous now before we even yeah. started. <laughs> Good job, I'm not going clubbing, isn't it? Okay, you can do that. Okay. Here we go. Put that all over the nail. The reason I put that all over the nail is because having the dipping layers here has brought that parallel. So when you dip, it's going to be all over. You ready? It's going to get extra strong. Yeah. You feel the softness that yeah. can be because it can. Yeah. And it's just that. It's just got a little bit on the wide there. I'm, the reason yeah. what I'm doing here is I don't want the nail to come out wide. So if you do have what we call little shoulders that appear, just push them with your finger. Or you could do it with the gel brush. You just get that new gel brush again, just to show off. Just to show you off. I like the cover actually. So, or if you want to do, it, you can just push it in like this. It's down to you. Pop that into cure for me. You should never panic with a product. You know, you don't. It's just very relaxing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, make it do what you want it to do. So while that's like taking, let me just show you then one of the new art art brushes. There we go. That's art brush number two. Look at that. That's the detailer, and then we have the new. You know, everyone's going to go mad in. now, don't they? When have we got them in? And then, oh, shall I just go really mad and just put Show them, them all? Okay, then look at that. I love the pattern, I love that. Look at so that. pretty. Well, that's if you notice with all the new packaging that we've had. If you notice the scroll and the watermark, like so even on the back here, yeah. you see oh, yeah. on all the new packaging, that's what it is. So, look at that. It's so nice. There you go. So you've got two acrylic brushes, a gel brush, and two art brushes. How beautiful is that? Fabulous. So keep an eye on for those when they come. I think you said they're being uh, flown over at this very moment. So they're nice Christmas presents. Oh, it's poor Christmas. I don't <laughs> like that now. <laughs> there you go. Just to show you those lovely new brushes. Okay, so that's come out. We're just going to brush the dust off. There you go. And then we're going to. I'm just going to feel. Yeah, that's parallel, so that's nice. Now, this, this is what I'm saying, you can't file now straight away because this is rough like sandpaper. So the top of those round polymer beads are sitting on there. Got part of it up. So I'm just going to use my poly base to seal it all in. Okay. So the only difference of the method that changed is that you're, you're building those two, set, two dips first. In this section, you've got your base cure, base dip, then you go all over dip. So you're still actually only dipping twice in the powder, it's just in That's different true. parts of it. And what's nice is if your client likes it, you know your client wants it, then what you can do is prepare all those tips up before she comes in. I'm just going to give my hands a spray because I'm just a bit dusty. I love the smell of that. It it's the, it's the favourite, yeah. Yeah, the purifier is... Uh, no matter so where you go with that, everybody loves the smell of that. I know. So it's nice and fresh without being sort of too chemically, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice. Because you can see my desk. Oh, that's it. I'm, I'm thinking that's on that side. No. See all my pots. This is artistic work. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do, that's got a tacky residue on, but you see how beautiful that pink is. That is so lovely. So effective, isn't mm -hmm. it? Wow. And that you could colour fade lovely with like maybe something like cloak and dagger. Imagine like that in the end of it, giving it yeah, a bit of sparkle. That would be, end really it. be nice. absolutely really pretty. So, Cassidy just asked a question, Denise. Yes, is that sorry? Do you find the dip system brittle compared to the normal acrylic? There's no, no difference. because ours isn't a cyanide acrylate. The, the dip systems that are brittle are all glue based. Okay. Ours are not glue based. Ours is a ligma based. And that's where the chemistry has been designed totally to absorb the, the product. So no, it's not. It actually, if you built a nail out, sculpted a nail out just with this, you can sculpt with it, but you'd have to sprinkle the powder with it. Um, and just, but if you just built with this on its own, it would have a bounce, it would have a flex, where a hard gel doesn't have a bounce or a flex. So it's a different enigma. A glue-based system, which is cyanoacrylate systems, are uh, a glue, and then that's why they're brittle. This is not brittle at all. But it gives you the hardness. It's as hard as an acrylic. When you tap it like this, it's as hard as that. It's amazing. And I'm very passionate about that because it is just so strong. Mm, it know. is. I can't believe how strong it is. And the differences as well. It's got vitamins inside the inside the poly base. We have vitamins in there, 
And when it comes off, the natural nail is beautiful. And, and they soak off as that's an essential oil in it. The, so, the new yeah. soak off, if none of you have used it, go and have a look online. We have the soothing soak off. And what that has, has all oils and vitamins in it. And there's, um, on YouTube, you will see there's a, a picture of a soak off done with acetone and a soak off done with soothing, soothing soak off. And the difference is, is this, the one with the acetone is all white and the one that's done with the soothing soak off has no whiteness at all and the nails are just glowing nice and healthy. Because of the system here as well, this will soak off quicker than an acrylic. One, because of the thinness of the product, but also because of the way the layers and it suspends itself. It allows the acetone to break down through it a lot better. It's just chemistry. Things have moved on. How I explain it is, imagine if you uh, bought a car five years ago and then you bought exactly the same car now. It's the same car, but it's different because technology moves on. And this is exactly the same. What's available to us now, chemistry-wise, um, allows us to do different things with the products. But then you try it. It's beautiful. So that's there, just literally use a very low grit file. So it's just a 180. We find file and we call it, because if you notice how I've not had to do that much to it at all, that's because it's so easy to file. See the less dust there. Hardly any dust at all. It's odour free, so if you want an odour free salon, this is the way to go. If you're in a spa, you can now often spa treatments, because when you go to a spa, I remember I broke mine out of spa once. And then he had gel polish and I couldn't mend it. So I was trying to sort of glue it and do it with gel polish, but it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine is asking, um, can you see the thickness of the nail? Which, yeah. Let me just wipe it for you, honey, yeah. and then I'll just show it to you for the dust. And I want you to see, if you imagine doing that with an acrylic. Right, so if you just turn to the side view, I want them to show that it's got. Can you see? Do you want something dark underneath? Yeah, stick it on there. Can you? Right, so from the side, you can see, see how fine that is? Okay, you can just look down the barrel of the nail as well. I might have to turn you this way. Is that, can you show the thickness of the nail? So let's get rid of that dust for you. Mm -hmm. Can you see the thickness of the nail there? Look how slender that is. But that is hard. That is really strong. Yeah. Literally. There's no, look, if I squeeze it, that is as hard as an acrylic. Because you've got the acrylic polymers in there, like you would with a liquid and powder, the difference is it's been absorbed in the uh, specialised polybase oligomers that we've got. Okay, it's only made purely for NSI. We have our own oligomer chemist. Yeah, tap it really hard one. Give it a tap. <laughs> Just so that you can hear how strong it is. Yeah. And it's and it feels light, doesn't it? Yeah. Because the chemistry, it. like what we were saying earlier, is when you're doing a critic or a gel, you have that shrinkage onto the nail. That's the tightness yes, you feel. that's that tightness. You don't get that no with No tightness at all. Which is why your gel polish people are quite happy to have a coating over their natural nail mm. these or have a repair. Okay, we're just going to put a seal on now and that's going to shine that up. So if we just move this up for you. Cassidy is asking, are you able to build more apex for longer enhancements? Yes, you are. So the way you would do that is if I was doing a longer enhancement, there's two ways I would do that. I'll just put one to keep on it. So if I was doing a longer enhancement, say, even I've even used it on the um, edge tips. So what you can do, you can actually do, you first dip all the way through, and then the second dip, you dip two thirds down the nail. That would give you a higher apex and strength through here. If you needed more strength, you can actually do a strap across because you wouldn't want any more product here and you wouldn't want any more product here. But if you want a high apex, do a strap where you want the high apex, dip it in the powder because it will only take to where you put that strap and dip it in the clear. That's a strap in the number three, the poly, the the poly, poly base. base. Yeah, so you do a strap here. So if I wanted to just do a higher apex, say like here, I would just do a strap across like that. And when you dip the powder in, it will only grip to that. It won't make it thicker here or here. It will give you height on your apex. A quick trick. Because some people do have ski jump nails and you won't have to do it on everyone. Sometimes I turn it to the side and go, yep, I strap, no, no, yep, no. So have a look on your client's nails and feel. Every nail's different, isn't it? Yeah, use your senses. As you need sensory says, when I mean that, it means feel, eyes. Yeah. You know, and then. Okay, so there you go. Look at that. You feel that. That's that totally parallel. There's no dips and knots in there. A bit of oil. Lovely. There you go. Just have a little look on that. It's beautiful. I love that colour. And that smile line is perfect. So it's such a good shape, that, isn't yeah. it? 
And what people like about it is because where they've been wearing ones as well. <laughs> Just flying. I'm losing my sense of direction. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Look at that. Lovely. And what I'm saying is, is like to get a, an acrylic person to do that would be such a high skill level. Okay. That'd be your level three now, tech. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So on these ones, then we're going to show. Um, on this one, I'm going to do an all-over color using acrylic. Okay, because some of you are saying about when you're using, especially the high pigmentation ones, that um, you're getting a bit of marbling. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to to do that. Because remember, when you have gel polish and nail polish, acrylic powders. Some are supposed to be dense, some are supposed to be sheer. The reason for that is because not everyone wants a solid colour. So which one do you want to do first? Can we go with the Cabernet again? Yes, go to the Cabernet. Because somebody was asking me about that as well the other day. Yeah. They did get colour pigmentation within, mm -hmm. so it's to show them how to use that. Not a problem. We're going to use that with the acrylic liquid. Yeah. Now remember, you've got two liquids that I'd uh, recommend using. We can use all three because the, uh, the Universal is a slow set. But if you use the attraction, uh, which we have here, and our cabinet, it's going to be a medium set. But because these are fine powders and they're highly pigmentated, then it's going to make it a slow set up anyway. Yes. Now, our art liquid, which is the primeless liquid from the Secrets range, has got more in it, so it makes your product creamier. So she might be want to try that and maybe get a slightly better effect because it will melt more into itself than what the attraction liquid is. But all of them work with each other. Okay, so because this one is a um, an acrylic, we're going to use a primer. So I can still use my my prep, which is the dehydrator, and then I'm going to be using my attraction primer because I'm going to be using a primer. Okay. Just give my brush. Are the beads smaller when you pick up with this? Did you say? Um, no. What it is, they it it will melt into itself. You don't. What you have to do is you work out how much you want. So let's go for medium. Let's just check. You can see totally close with that. Okay. Now, if you've got, if you're going to build quite a high apex through here, okay. so if you're going to build quite a high apex, then what you want to do, because if you've got, imagine a deep colour, the thinness here and thinness here is going to be different to the thickness here. Mm. So this is going to be darker in the centre. So what you want to do is just do a stroke of clear through, which raises that centre. So I'm going to get the... Um, Okay. So I'm going to interact it with the Simplicite clear powder, okay, and I'm going to literally just do down the centre, just literally like a stroke. Because what this does is raise that centre, so you get more of an even, an even coverage. Just stroke it through, okay. These are so highly pigmented, you can almost like paint with them. That's the beauty of them. So we're just going to pick up a bead. Now you've got to wait for the, the pigment to absorb mm. through. Now if you watch, you can see that it's all like beady, and then mm. we'll see it go. Very rich, isn't it? That? It's very rich, yeah. So what I want you to do is just give it a little bit of a... You see, I'm just all so that's the swirl that you're swirl. talking about. Yeah. So we're going to take it down to where we want it. And then I'm going to just... Stroke it, stroke it through. And then you start to use it. The coverage is amazing, isn't it? This is why it's so good for that colour coding. Now what you can do, you can even dip your brush in just dry powder and just tap it in. Because it would just grab the pigment. So what that would do, you see I've just put it in the liquid. Yes. Can you see how that evens that colour out? Yeah. So let's see on the end there, yeah. on, because what you can also do, if you want to deepen it down, 
and just dip it in. It's just going to do the pigment. You can see then with my wet brush how that's just evened out that pigment. Yeah. Look at that. It's amazing. Because it's just grabbed pigment rather than... Okay. Joanna's mm -hmm. saying she's loving the compatibility and versatility. Mm. It's just amazing. Okay. And there you go. That's how you get around it. That's great. So your little squirrel, you can actually like dip into your tents. I do that quite a lot when I'm doing stilettos yeah. on the end. And I'll be showing you that again on here. Also, I've just used my brush. Just dipped it in the, the colour. Tapped it in one of the monomers still wet. And just literally... Yeah, so if you can see it. an area that does need that little bit more depth, yeah. you can just dry brush on. With you can dry brush on, yeah. And that's you do it in gel polish, you know, it's just playing around. Yeah, it's adapting, see, isn't it? Yeah. Because the, it, all colours are going to be different. This one is a very highly pigmentated colour. You know, you wouldn't have to do that with, say, like, uh, something like this. You wouldn't have to do no. that. But some of them you do, it depends what they've been yeah. mixed in. But you get that with all old gel polishes people say oh this one's not as dense as that one but it's not designed to because not everyone wants it as dense as that it might be a case where imagine where um you'd have that dense and then you want like a something like that shimmer over the top but you just yeah. want a hint of they're sheer and that for a reason to give different effects we all have our favorite hints of glitter powders, on that would be absolutely lovely wouldn't it what are you trying to say hmm. I don't know. Well, if I did a hint of glitter and I did something, I just see how that's uh, what space we've got to. Oh, yeah, we can. Right, so say let's put a hint of glitter on. We use this. Not one. that I was hinting, or yep. <laughs> so I could then just literally use it very wet and see how it's not picked up the purple. It's not diminished. Diminished it. Ooh, that's a nice word. Good one. But it's just added. But if I'm going to file that, I'd have to encapsulate that in clear. Yeah. Because otherwise, I'd file it off with yeah. clear. I file off the glitter rather. Oh, so no, just lay it up. Yeah, let me just encapsulate it. You can keep oh, glitter. I think so. Yeah. Steady on. It's going to be a bit. So I'm just literally, and the beauty of it again, so you can use them like paints, which is really quite cool. Especially when you're doing art, and um, for example, if you show me your other finger while that's drying, remember the one we did this, um, this morning? If you think here, we've actually done Cabernet here, stroked it through, yeah. I then got Cloak and Dagger and stroked it through here. And then to get the intensity of that pink, I literally dipped the end in like this. So it absorbed the colour and then I just tapped it with my brush. And the liquid from my brush just intensified the colour. And then we've got Luna, which we stroked through. So that's one, two, three, that's four powders there before I encapsulate it in clear. Now the beauty of it was, if you look at that, you wouldn't think because when I turned it to the side, I had to put the clear on to build up through there because I could use it like paints. I would say it's a bit like eyeshadows, isn't it? You know, yeah. you start with a base, then you put another one on, and then you put another one on. And before you know it. So, how cool is that? Very cool. Mm -hmm. And some people like working with the simplicity powders because they are so fine with the, with the liquid, it makes it slower setting, so it gives them more time to play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to just check. How many colours are going in the range, Denise? Someone was asking. Uh, there's about 84, 85 at the moment, and yeah. we bring out four colours every season minimum. So they're going to Imagine be always. How many colours are going to be? In the large pots, I think we've got 54 of them because they're the most popular ones because some of the wacky colours people might not want. Yeah, but again, when colours become more fashionable or people get really popular and hooked on a colour, which people do, then we'll add those to the larger. You could pots. mix as well, could you? If you wanted to create your own individual shade, can you mix the two, two or three colours together to create a you different can. shade? With any art, you can. You can mix yeah. them together. You could add a bit of... Remember, if you're adding... Okay, if you're adding a sparkle glitter to it, remember, don't make it too intense with the uh, sparkle glitter. These powders are balanced. You've got shimmers in these that you could mix and match or dip one colour totally in one and then dip in another or halfway through. Or in the tacky residue, you could just get a brush... Imagine in the tacky residue, like you could then just dip it in a powder and get an effect yeah. like that. You need to play around and, and what works, okay? Because you don't want it to be too dotty. But I yeah. don't think there's a lot you couldn't really do with this. Is no, it? I customise colours all the time with people, yeah. you know. And some you think, oh, that'll work together in bits. You go, oh, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> and not everything's um, a perfect colour. No. <laughs> That's when you have to learn. Those of you who haven't um, learnt your colour wheels, you might want to practice. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm doing now, because that's nice and fine and that's not thick at all, which is great. I'm just going to refine file that for you. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> and take your finger <laughs> off. Can we find it? It's oh. still there. Yeah. I think I blinked at the wrong time. <laughs> isn't that quite cool how you can just add that glitter to it? Yeah, just transforms yeah. it, doesn't it? Because I've used almost the um, the liquid, almost like an art, like a water, really. And it's grabbed the shimmer of wine. Yeah. I'm amazed at the strength of the pigments. It's just so strong, the colour. Mm. Well, that's the beauty of it, really. Right, so we get rid of the dust. Can you see that pop up there? Yeah. And you can see that colour's nice and even. So it's just little hints and tips. It's just really having a play. Don't be frightened of trying things, you know. Don't, if not, just on Facebook, ask us a question. And um, there's always a way around everything. There you go for that. Could you use glaze and go over that or not? Uh, yes, you could because it's a hard acrylic. Yeah. Yeah. I think because I use a poly, um, poly dip system, so much in the salon i tend to go for the seal for everything because yeah. it's just it's that style, one thing it? yeah. yeah you know and it is such a high shine the seal as well it isn't is. it it's beautiful it just goes on lovely so what we're doing next so what we're doing next we're actually going to do a color fade using the using brilliant. the yeah. products so i'm going to be using all the um i'm going to use the opaque pink from from simplicity to have my base i'm then going to what colour shall we use? I was thinking about doing something a bit wacky on me actually. Let's have a look. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think what it was now. Let me think. Do you think? Is it a uh, hot pink? What have we got on our table? Got something like blue base? Oh, how about we do like a bit of this? Yeah, we could go with that. Yeah, you can cope with that. Yeah, because yeah, it's a bit of a daydream. And actually, oh, actually, yeah. They go well together. together. Well, I'd like might try that and actually then put the cloak and dagger because imagine it's a bit like that's a nice mix. Yeah, that's quite a soft one for yeah. you, isn't it? The other ones are quite bright, so let's yeah. just tone it down. How I always check where the colours go together, rather than just putting it straight onto the natural now. I always see how things go together. So let's just do a little sample and just see whether you know we're happy with what we have. Because when clients go, oh, I'd like that colour and that colour, and you put it together, you go, hmm. That's right, so what we're saying is if then um, we've got this one, which is it was simply visible, that's beautiful. That's it? such a nice colour. And then if you want this one, and see how that comes in through. That's quite good. Yeah, that was a isn't it? That's quite good. Good match straight. Up. Sometimes when you do that on a tissue, you might want to reverse it around and do the pink. So let's have a look at the good pink. Tip that for me. Yeah, so see how whether you do the pink first and then go into the darker on both. Sometimes that that sort of goes a bit better, which I think actually I prefer that way around to be fair. Mm. And the dark on the end. Yeah, that'd be nice. Mm -hmm. And then you can put a bit of silver through. But the other one we said about is daydream. Because it might be where if you want the purple, let's see how this looks. And always do this in front of the customer as well, because she you'll find she will go, oh I actually like that, you might be surprised. That's that one. Yeah, they're both nice, aren't mm -hmm. they? Oh, you can have this one going into this one. Let's see which one we're going with. So these are quite woody tones, aren't they? Mm. These are, so which one are you going to go for? I know which I'll go for, but let's see what you go I for. I think I'm going to go for, for that. Now that's different personalities because I'll go for that. Yeah, uh, well, but, I think yeah, that's why I changed. I, I thought you'd think I'd go for that. That's why I went for that. <laughs> <laughs> so you want uh, dark into the yes, into light, yeah. but not light into the dark. Light in the dark would look better. I'll go with what you say. Thank you. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's your client choosing what she wants. <laughs> really? <Not. laughs> okay. I just know that will give you a better effect. And then what I'm going to do, I'll pick up Selene, which uh, I think is here. What we're going to do is also add a bit of this one, which is the effects. So I love this. And you'll see what I mean. And that will really, really pop. Mm, so now we're good. using secrets, we're using simplicity, simplicity and attraction all together. How cool is that? So it just shows you how you can interact with all our products with NSI is about keeping your life simple. Hi Laura NSI. Hi Laura. Okay. Right, let's rock and roll. A little white pad here. So first thing to do, I've done a prep, let's just put, I, know, I can't remember what time I'm decided. I did on this one, didn't I? So, let's do a bit of prep. 
the dehydrator. So you can interact with that if you wanted to use your, your dehydrator instead of Nail Clear Plus. You can do. I still use Nail Clear Plus if you want to clean all over the finger. Do that one. This one. That's because the new range is coming. Let's use the Attraction Primer. Now I'm going to use the opaque pink. Okay. Okay, pink. So you can use the dipping powders with the with liquid, liquid, liquid as well. Yeah, I'm going to come up look at this I can. Yeah. It's somewhat handy. Okay. So I'm going to do a colour fade. So I'm actually going to just do a very thin colour wash through that. Because I don't want the bulk at this stage. I'm just wanting. Remember we said about painting colours. So bring it nice and tight into the cuticle. And I'm just going to stroke it up the nail. Fading off to virtually nothing at the end because remember I want to layer. Okay, so can you see? Yeah, to the bottom there. Okay. So next we're going to get our second colour. Okay, which is our pink. Okay. And then I'm going to do it this way. I don't much at the end, so I'm going to literally fade that down. So it comes. It's nice to get a little bit of movement as well. In there. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm wetting my brush and what I'm doing, I'm wetting this so it separates that glitter. Okay. And then nice. the third colour now, you see how that's, I mean that's nice on its own, that's almost like a pink boomer isn't it? Yeah, it's nice just like that. So if you're a pink boomer guys, you want cloak and dagger and you're playing opaque yeah. pink, there you go, oh, you've got a pink fun. boomer. And if you want a blue boomer, that one. Just replace the cloak and dagger for that, it gives you a blue boomer. Yeah. If you want a lilac boomer, do daydreamer, that's really good. Just pink and then daydream on the bottom, gives you... So that opaque, this little opaque pink is going to come in quite a lot, isn't it? It's really? come out a lot, because it's, it's going to be, you know, your multi-purpose yeah. dipping powder. Okay, so now we're going to do Irresistible. Irresistible. Sorry, that. Have you so to make it slightly opaque, I'm just going to blot the liquid out of the back of the brush because that's going to make it a heavier colour on the end. Okay. So now, just to make sure, fade it down. And take off the excess off the end. Now because we want to make it slightly deeper on the very end, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the powder because that's monomer in there now and I'm just going to dip that end to make that heavier. Okay. See that powder there? In, with my wet brush, can you see how it compacts down on itself? And yeah, it's actually it's given me a deeper. So I've combined really dipping and also. I'm yeah. still not getting bulky, no. neither is it. Because it's only grabbed pigment, and yeah. as soon as I've touched my brush, it's sort of melted into yeah. itself. Okay. So a bit of That's nice. Can you see that ombre through? Mm -hmm. That would be nice, just a ombre as a dip as yeah. well, those two. But it's a nice, warm. Oh, if I was dipping this in ombre, I would actually dip all over in this pink first, cure, and then on the second one, I dip my free edge in this, and then all over in nice. that, and that will give you a beautiful ombre. I have to remember those colours for yeah. your demo next week. So now I'm just going to get Cellini. Oh, it's not open. Cellini is an effects powder, so what that means is it's already pre mixed for you. This is what really pops. See, so many people don't know about how great these particular ones are from the secret oh, range, do they? From great. the effects, it really yeah. is just a, such an easy product to use. Yeah, look at that. Now, if that's too heavy, wet your brush, and then you don't need less. To make a twinkle, less is some, sometimes not. So what I'm doing is just move in. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? And see how I've done it a diagonal, because that gives you a little bit more movement. That's actually pulled quite your colours, actually, aren't they? That's yeah. Quite subtle. I really like that. Yeah. Now, if you turn to the side, I want to show people how slim that is. That's not. That's, um, it's not got a bulk on it yet, um, because we've used it like paint. We've almost like been painting it on. So what I'm going to do now is use the clear to build the structure and give the apex where I need I'm it. Doing it again. Where are you, Karen? <laughs> there you go. I'll hold you. <laughs> okay. Can you see that? So now I need to put the apex in through here, okay, and encapsulate those colours. There's a few like in this, Denise. Excellent, beautiful colours. 
Nick uh, Marie says, when applying coloured acrylic, do you do a clear acrylic base first? No. No, not necessarily. No. Even when I sculpted, can I have your finger for me? When I sculpted this one this morning, if you didn't see our um, live feed this morning, have a look on YouTube. With this one, this is a sculpt. So the only reason why I did a, a very clear one was to join the now to the form, which is very, but I wouldn't build a structure. Under here is literally pure colour. But I've encapsulated in the clear on the top that gives the strength. But just remember, because they're so pigmentated, they're going to be slower setting. So if you're sculpting with it, you will be, you've got longer to work, but it's going to slow the setting down because of the pigmentation. So now I'm going to go for the clear powder from the Simplicity range. It's a finer powder, so again, it will be those of you that like a slightly slower set, this might work for you. And it's creamier because the beads are so much finer. It's actually lovely to work with. Yeah, so you can see you it's see nice that. to work with. See, it's creamier. So those of you that um, like a creamier, finer powder, use this for your structure. You might find it'll change the whole way that you work. And we've got it in the opaque as well. And the sheer pink. Not the sheer pink. I keep calling it sheer pink. Pink silk. Pink silk. Let me show you the pink silk here. It's the same fine bead. Look, it's just literally like so fine. So when you pick it up, you have that same creamy texture. And it's just got a faint hint of pink. I just hold that up there. Can you just see that? So it's those of you want a bit, it's beautiful. So it's a sheer powder, but the powder is really fine. So it's going to be a slow set for you. So you might want you to work with it. So if you uh, want a slow setting powder that's really fine, use our simplicity powders. Uh, Nick was saying, I think I uh, didn't quite get the question, when she was talking about putting clear on first, she was about when you want to change colours for an infill. So if you're going to put a coloured acrylic on, such as mm -hmm. like this, would you put clear underneath so that when you come to do an infill, you just take off? You can. What we're saying, the, the question actually we had this morning was the same with the gel. If I was having this all over, I wouldn't use this as an all over colour as a critic, I, I use them as, mainly as colour fades. If I wanted to get this effect, I would build all in a clear acrylic, finish and file, wipe clean. Then I would put poly base on, and then I'd dip it in the can of Cabernet, and that would give you your colour. I would then cure it. When it comes out, it's got a tacky residue. I would then dip it in the powder, dry brush it, which would intensify the colour without adding any bulk, and then I'd seal it. And you can use it then. It's so far, and it would be give you depth of colour. So when your client came back, you could just file off that top cabinet colour, do a maintenance in your acrylic underneath, and she can change to whatever colour she likes. Has that answered your question? <laughs> Rebecca uh, saying she learnt nails with Denise nearly fourteen years ago. Hi, Rebecca. Oh. And she's still doing nails. Yay! I'm glad I didn't frighten all these people no. off. That must be. Good. Right, I'm just going to file this now. They're a nice colour combo, aren't they? Very yes. nice. I do like them. Though. So again, we're just going to refine file because if you work with the products, I do find actually because they're finer powders, because they sort of melt into themselves, I think it stops that building a building a building. Yeah, you don't need to file much at all, do you, on this? Because you just stroke them through and they melt on themselves. If you want to build a, um, a larger structure, then obviously you need the bigger polymer beads when you attract your range to do that. So just different things to do different yeah. for you. There you go, that's all that needs. So this one I use Glaze and Go, because this is a hard structure just to show them. I'm going to use Glaze and Go LED. I'm going to clean the nail up using my lens. Voila. I'm glad I've not got to pick an outfit to go with my nails tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that would be a very interesting outfit. It would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> You'd see you coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can use glaze and go LED because this is a hard structure. And then I like the LEDs because it's got a lovely glide. When you do that, look that. It's got like a nice sort of stretch. And we've got the jewel lamp here as well, so it's LED and UV viewable. Which I love my LED. I love what you guys did to that um, lamp in well, there. Did a bit of bling, bling on it. You have yeah. to look on, hopefully, you've got that on the Facebook page. The bling mm. lamp. 
If not, I, th- I took a picture yesterday. So look on the Facebook page later and we'll put up the, the lamp was just covered totally in bling. Amazing. Well, the diamonds. The beauty of the the, um, the, the glaze and go compared to the seal, this has got a tacky free residue. Okay, and can be used on any of our systems because it's um, flexible. It just can be used on acrylic, can be used on gel, hard gel, soft gel, movable gel, and gel polish. It can be used on anything. The LED um, glazing go is a hard uh, tack free product, so that has to go on a hard structure only. So that's over on your, your balance or your acrylics only. Okay, but the beauty of it is when it comes out, there's no wipe. So if you come out, then there's no wine at all, oh, which is great. That. I love that. That's just the speed of it. It's just, I love that. And it was so easy, wasn't it? Yeah. The gloss on that. It's lovely. That's really nice. Okay. Give it a bit of oil. I don't know about that. Joanna says glaze and go is the best, best thing I've ever, ever used. <laughs> okay. So there are three different effects. We've done a baby boomer, we've done an acrylic fade, We've done an acrylic using all over to show you how to get a good effect on that. And we've done a tip. So just for a bit of fun, just for our last thing for today, I want to show you how to do a marbling. And I'm going to show you this. So I've got this on my fingers. Okay, so this is the type of effect we're going to do. Now on my fingers here, this is going directly into the powder on a clear base underneath. This one, I've got Cabernet underneath and then I've dipped it over the top to give an effect. So you can actually see the difference Mm-hmm. It's going to give you so it's just a bit fun. Now I'm going to change Karen's life again because I'm going to do a real funky. I'm going Great. to do green, <laughs> blue, and really pink. <laughs> yes, I am. Just for our last thing of today, okay? Just so that you can know. Uh, so the first thing, mix in there. first thing I need to do is prepare Karen's nail up. So let's just swipe it over. We've got a I am just gonna work from, with uh, sorry Denise. Yep. Um hi Denise greeting from NSI in Nicaragua. Oh hi That's Kelly. Hi Kelly. <laughs> Joanna's um, excited about the dip nail art. Oh fantastic. You're gonna watch this then because Karen's about to have a heart to have yep. But I'm just using our plus because where we've been touching the nails and everything else, I might have some oil on the nails or something like that. Gonna prepare the nails up then with my prep. Okay. And then I'm going to put the bond on. And there we go. Put the bond on. And then I'm going to put my first coat of poly base. Okay. Just one straight on there. And then just stretch the product. We don't want it bulky because otherwise it, you just don't need it. Okay, so now I'm going to create my mix. Um, just a shallow dish would do. I sometimes use the inserts of the lids of these, which I can't find. Oh, yes, my nose. I've even put them in like here before just to give a bit of colour because it's not too deep. And I can actually do that to show you how to use that if I fine because then you don't use so much product. So, first of all, I'm going to use the white of the dip system. Okay, so I'm going to put white on. Move that as your base. We don't need that, they can use any colour you base really. But I just think it works really well. So just level that out. So it's got um it's moving quite a lot. We've got powder here. Can you see it's like moving like one of those <laughs> this bit? I might have to work it's just moving by itself. <laughs> What's that um on ice? You know those things you slide on ice? It's oh, yeah, like ice cooling. Funky. Yeah, is it cooling balls? What's my thing? I'm not sure. Right, so now we're gonna do some funky. I've got here sublime green. <laughs> <laughs> Karen's just not funny, it. Denise. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're going to have some funky green. Okay, and I'm just going to put some bits. Then we're going to have some Bohemian Babe. It's really not going on holiday, it's quite Caribbean. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then we're going to add to it String Bikini, which is your holiday. Okay, a little bit of fun. Then we're going to just get the little dotting tool, which mine disappeared earlier. Oh, here it is. Voila. 
I'm going to just marble it into it. Let's just tap it down there. So bring the wash. I think that's going to be so cycled at it. It's going to be like a bit of graffiti on the thing, you know. It's got a bit more pink. That's what you could call this one graffiti. Graffiti. Okay, so out your thumb. Stick your thumb. <laughs> okay, right, this is where you're going to have to roll your thumb for me. Okay, so we're going to put a layer of this on. I'm going to roll thumb in there. So what I want you to do, Karen, okay, is you get your thumb and I want you to roll it like that for me. Do you do that? I'll hold it. Just for a minute ago. Roll it right in and just turn it around. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's it. Now you come. Smash in. <laughs> well, I think you did it quite hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to get you to just do it again. So can I control your thumb you this time? You can control that thing coming right in the green. <laughs> Okay, so just roll your thumb over for me. <laughs> oh dear. There you go, you've got that all the blue. Look at that. <laughs> right, there's a world this away. So, <laughs> thing, when you get your client to do this, if you can just get it just not to go quite yeah, as hard. Don't press so hard. Okay, I'll pop that in there. So I'm just going to show you on a tip just to show you how it, um, how it should be done. <laughs> okay, so just to show you again, give you an idea. And you'll find like the, the pots and things that you prefer to do. And when people say, oh, am I going to waste that? Not if you're doing all 10, definitely. And sometimes if you leave on the side, people like this. I'm just going to roll it in. There you go. I'll just roll it in, change colour. And see how I can actually, doesn't matter where you go, you can, look, you can get it in. There you go. And every nail is not meant to look exactly the same. No, anyway, you won't get so. them exactly the same. With a marbling technique like this, you wouldn't be exactly the same, but that's the funky bit of it. But if you know you, the beauty of it, you can just add a bit in there. I quite like it. It's quite nice. That's what I'm looking there for. There you go. We've just found, these. yeah. Yeah. This is what I use in the saddle because I can get in there and see what, what this does is angle. Now. Can you see angle? Because of this lip here, and they angle in like that, which stops them doing what Karen did and squishing <laughs> in all over the place. But we saved it, didn't we? Saved the day. We did, we did save it. Okay. Right, I'm just going to turn this over because there's a little thing on here that I'm just going to talk about. Ah. Ah. We have the university coming to the UK. So any of you guys who are interested in coming to our university, it's a three-day event here at Head Office. Then have a look on the uh, website and we're going to confirm days in the next probably month, really. Yeah. It's a good chance. We don't email in five minutes. But if you're interested, can you please email Marie? Because there will only be limited spaces for this event. It's an amazing thing. Right, I'm just going to dust this off. And what I'm going to do? Look at that! Wow! And then very subtle, isn't it? Subtle. <laughs> okay. And then what I'm going to do here is do, and we're going to dip in clear now because you don't want to dip again in the in the colours because you'll file it off. Yeah. I think that's quite funky. It's quite nice, that. I know. Is it changing my ways. Yeah, a little bit. So in the clear we go. All the way to the end. I'm just going to tap towards the cuticle so it doesn't have too much bulk of the cuticle. So just get used to using your, your tapping to just jiggle that powder around. Remember, anything that's left on the top doesn't need to be there, so we're going to cure it and then brush it off. So was that fun? That was watch fun. <laughs> well, these are, you sell these, do you here? Yes, we do. Fantastic. What do you call them? We call them... The triangle nail art tray. Well, you know, <laughs> triangle and nail art tray, that's ideal for doing, putting this in there. And then it stops it all moving around. But you know what, that's now takes a lot of it, isn't it? Yeah, we'll so the university, I think it's next year, around June, yes. that's what we're trying to get. Which is 2019. 2019. Just in case this goes on for like 20 years <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which will be fantastic. It's going to be a great opportunity. Such a good learning curve for the text. Right, I'm going to actually, because it's the thumbnail, I'm going to use the poly base to seal this because it's going to give me a bit more self-leveling properties to it. I could use seal and then just buff from there, but I 
I've got used to singing with the simplicity because I feel it just gives me a little bit more of an apex, especially on a wide thumb like this. Well, I'm saying, you know, I was going to say. That sounded a bit nice today. <laughs> so, a larger surface of the largest finger on the hand. Okay. And that pops all the colours. You can see how it all sort of merges in together. I really like that. It's okay, that. And I quite like, actually, when you go across and it has different um, on every finger. It's actually quite nice. So when that comes out, I'm going to wipe over, I'm going to file, and then I'm going to use the seal as my as my top. This goes over any of our products, acrylics, gels, and uh, gel polish. It's a very universal, essential product. Okay, let's do wipe with cleanse. Take the tacky residue off when it comes through. Again, because the dipping system will only keep the nails extremely fine. Again, even before file, you feel that you can smooth that in. Ridiculous. No lumps about. Yeah. Oh, but that doesn't mean you can't file. Don't. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. That's not thick at all. It doesn't mean you can't file. Okay. I don't want you to get your skin getting lazy. You still need to tuck your edges in, tucking it in at the cuticle, tuck it in at the sides, and file that free edge. So don't be lazy and just think, oh, I don't have to do anything. You could even put a uh, glitter top coat on top of this if you wanted. You know, um, sparkle it up a little bit from the gel polish range. You've got like the freezing range. You've got um, so, so silk juice is another one. Or if you want to put pink sparkle, peak coat peak, you could actually put your gel polish colours on top to actually interact your gel polish now into um, your simplicity. See, so that's all the filing that needs. How cool is that? It's brilliant, huh? So you can see how we've gone there now, we're interacting gel polish. Yeah. Imagine putting that um, freezing rain on top of that, which would be gorgeous. Yeah, you, could so you, pig. Do. you could change the tones yeah. of it, you could put the silver glitter on there yeah. and then encapsulate in the silver. just put a little bit of embellish just over there. You so can. You hide the green. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like green, which I absolutely love. There you go. It's called an embellishment nail art tray, by the way. Embellishment nail art tray. Um, Michelle has said, do you need to cap the nail? No. Years ago, years ago okay, when gel polish first came out, you remember it's been out a long time now, you needed to seal the, the nail because you had shrinkage. All the products that we have now are so advanced and now um, products have come on so much nicely that when you actually stroke through the nail, like this, when you paint the nail and you do this, you come off the end, that automatically you see it comes off the nail like this. If you start sealing the nail here, what people do, they get this lump at the end. So you really don't need to do that. You might with other products, but with our products it's moved on so much, we don't get that anymore. And the adhesion properties are so good. They don't shrink at all, do they? No. I'm just going to then wipe up, get some cleanse again. And there you go. That now, that volume was just minimal, wasn't it? Yeah. I find it so much more minimal than if you're doing acrylics or gel. That just saves so much time when you don't have to find it. Does. To do a set of these, I've done this on a client, now, to do a set of those, I did those in like 37 minutes. You know. okay. The reason I know it's so precise is because someone actually asked me how quick it took you know, to do a set of nails in the nails. It'll go, well, don't know. Took me under seven minutes just to file a whole hand of ten. <laughs> Drop the oil. Finish off the last bit of hand cream. Kevin nearly has a full. We've only got one now. I've got to do one. Yeah. Yeah. But you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. Look at that. Simple, effective. Simple and effective. So we've done, just to recap then on today, this afternoon we've done Baby Boomer. Just to recap quickly, that you dipped in, we did poly base first, all over the nail, cure. Then poly base, dipped in the white, tapped it this way so the product jumped down the nail. Dipped in, we did the secrets disguise, okay. That cured it. Then we did clear, oh, sorry, poly base, dipping clear just two thirds up the white, and then dipped in disguise so it sort of masked through this area here, okay. Cured, sealed in poly base, and filed. This one we did with acrylics using all the dipping powders but using attraction as our product. So we've got irresistible, we've got cloak and dagger, we've got the opaque from the, the dipping system to show you, you can use our opaque powders and we encapsulated in the clear because the powders are fine and giving that creamy slow setting 
this one we've done all over colour and we then just uh, did a bit of glitter on there, dry brushing to show that you can use the, the colour density as well. This one we dipped the tip in first, cured it and then we did the poly base up to the smile line, cured poly base dipping opaque powder, cured poly, ba uh, poly base all over the nail and then dipped in clear which raised it all up to the same. And that's beautiful. Remember, if you wanted to, you can just do the dipping in your smile line and then go over top of your acrylic if you wanted. You know well. And then we did your funky nail art that you've just seen as the last one. Those of you that hadn't seen this morning, go and have a look on YouTube. This is dipping in colour all over, so we did step by step for that. Again, sculpting in the simplicity powders, um, encapsulating, same as what we did the pink tip there. And this is basics in your pink silk. There you go. How much can you do with this? That is how I normally wear my nails. So <laughs> she's got palpitations. And now I've got that. <laughs> Bring you into the 21st century, Karen. They're beautiful. Thank you, Denise. So thank you guys for watching. Anything you need to know is it for when we do our next live feed? Come and see us at the stand, which yeah, is at Manchester next the... weekend. Oh, well, we'll get back As to you what stand we are, yeah. <laughs> but we're at the show next weekend. Yeah, so come and see us. And then if you want to come to the university, email us, and then let's get you up to speed with all our products and high speed. Okay? Look out for us on Facebook. Lovely to see you guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye.